Viruses spread when you cough and sneeze, and the tiny droplets land on surfaces others might touch. You can help reduce the risk by coughing or sneezing into your arm or a tissue. Bin the tissue. Wash your hands with soap and water. And if you're sick, seek medical advice. Together, we can help stop the spread and stay healthy. Hand sanitizer is a convenient alternative to hand washing if there's no soap and water available, and as long as your hands aren't visibly dirty. Apply sanitizer, rub your hands palm to palm, and wash the backs of both hands and in between your fingers. Then palm to palm with fingers interlocked, clasp your hands together and rub, and then clean around the thumbs too. Rub your fingertips in the palms of your hands and finish off with the wrists. A mask only works if it's put on, used and removed properly. Just follow these simple steps. Before putting it on, clean your hands. Pinch the wire at the top on the bridge of your nose, hook the elastics around your ears and make sure that your nose and mouth are well covered with no gaps. Try not to touch the mask. If you do, wash your hands straight away. When taking off your mask, remove it from behind. Don't touch the front of it and throw it away into a closed bin. Don't forget to wash your hands well straight after. Please don't use a face mask unless advised to by a healthcare professional. Never reuse a single-use mask. If your mask gets damp, replace it with a new one. In December 2019, there was a cluster of pneumonia cases in China. Investigations found that it was caused by a previously unknown virus, now named the 2019 novel coronavirus. In this video, we'll take a quick look at what's currently known about the virus. Keep in mind that this is a new virus, and what's known about the virus now might change in the future. Coronaviruses are a large group of viruses. They consist of a core of genetic material surrounded by an envelope with protein spikes. This gives it the appearance of a crown. Crown in Latin is called corona, and that's how these viruses get their name. There are different types of coronaviruses that cause respiratory and sometimes gastrointestinal symptoms. Respiratory disease can range from the common cold to pneumonia, and in most people, the symptoms tend to be mild. However, there are some types of coronaviruses that can cause severe disease. These include the Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome coronavirus, first identified in China in 2003, and the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome coronavirus that was first identified in Saudi Arabia in 2012. The 2019 novel coronavirus was first identified in China. It initially occurred in a group of people with pneumonia who'd been associated with a seafood and live animal market in the city of Wuhan. The disease has since spread from those who were sick to others, including family members and healthcare staff. There are many cases at present, and the disease has spread within China and also to a number of other countries. So, where did the virus come from? It's known that coronaviruses circulate in a range of animals. Sometimes these viruses can make the jump from animals to humans. This is called a spillover and could be due to a range of factors, such as mutations in the virus or increased contact between humans and animals. For example, MERS-CoV is known to be transmitted from camels and SARS-CoV from civet cats. The animal reservoir of the 2019 novel coronavirus is not known yet. How is it transmitted? The exact dynamics of how the virus is transmitted is yet to be determined. In general, respiratory viruses are usually transmitted through droplets created when an infected person coughs or sneezes or through something that has been contaminated with the virus. People most at risk of infection from the novel coronavirus are those in close contact with animals, such as live animal market workers, and those who are caring for people infected with the virus, such as family members or healthcare workers. So, how does the disease present? Well, from what is known so far, there can be a number of symptoms ranging from mild to severe. There can be fever and respiratory symptoms such as cough and shortness of breath. In more severe cases, there's been pneumonia, kidney failure, and death. The mortality rate is not known yet. How can we tell whether someone is infected? The infection can be diagnosed by a test called PCR, or polymerase chain reaction. 
This test identifies the virus based on its genetic fingerprint. There's currently no specific medication for the virus, and treatment is supportive care. There's currently no vaccine to protect against the virus. Treatment and vaccines are in development. How do we prevent transmission of the virus? This new virus currently has a limited geographic spread. However, there are a number of standard hygiene practices that have been recommended to protect against infection and further spread. These include covering your mouth and nose when coughing or sneezing with a medical mask, tissue, or flexed elbow, avoiding close contact with those who are unwell, the appropriate use of masks and personal protective equipment, especially in a healthcare setting, washing hands regularly with soap and water, or alcohol-based hand rub. Actions that can be taken to prevent infection from an animal source include avoiding unnecessary unprotected contact with animals, washing hands after contact with animals or animal products, and ensuring that animal products are cooked thoroughly before they're consumed. It's important to stay home if you're feeling unwell, but if you have a fever, cough, and difficulty breathing, seek medical care early and share your previous travel history with your healthcare provider.